Hello everyone, um, I'm Lauren from The Beauty Tree and today I thought wouldn't it be nice to have a little video during a really tiring and frying um, isolation period from the outbreak. So I've decided to enlist my beautiful model here, Lola, as my manicure uh, model. Um, she's been desperately asking me to have her hands done and her nails done. For about six days. <laughs> For about six days now, apparently. Um, and I thought, well, why not turn it into a video um, to show you a little bit of what I can do. All right. So the first thing that we normally do, okay, and what we must do, especially in times like these, um, is to obviously. tend to work out in, so the little finger inwards. And Lola has already told me what nail colour she a nice pink colour that we've done in called Goddess, which is part of the manicure company um, gel nail colour. So I have gone a little bit against what I would normally do with the girls, purely because at this point, what else have we got to do but entertain ourselves? I wouldn't ordinarily put a gel colour. So this is my first video, so please forgive me if it's all a little bit disjointed, a little bit mumbly of me, and I'm also going to apologise if you can hear my husband and garden calling it the dogs, because he is currently trying to take advantage of the sunshine um, and letting the dogs out into the garden, so we can hear them. manicure set. It's the red berry splash. Okay, and we're just going to put a little bit in each bowl. Okay, and then there you go. Put your hands up and put down. Okay, you can just pop your hands in there for me. Alright, that's it. And then we'll put the towel around to keep some of that warmth in there. In the towel. Okay, so we gave that around eight minutes or so for a soak. So what I'm going to ask Lola to do now is very carefully, could you take your right hand out for just a minute? Your right hand out. We're going to just gently and softly dry our client's hand and your daughter's. my daughter's hand and move the photograph away. Mm -hmm. Your hands smell nice. Okay, and then I'm going to ask you. Ordinarily clients 
wouldn't stick their hands in their noses to have a whiff. So we'll pretend like that didn't happen with Lola. Okay, and the same here. Now that we've done a nice hand soap, we're going to work on the cuticles. Okay, now I'm gently, because obviously Lola's got quite small nails, she's only got small little hands, I'm not going to do the usual um, cuticle cream and then pushing them back. And what I would usually do for an adult client, um, I'm just going to gently push them back. Okay, so we've just done Lona's cuticles and we push them back nice and gently, especially that the skin is soft after having that hand soak, which is always really, really lovely to give. Now what I'm going to do is, again, with the Peso family manicure set, I'm going to use the Wild Berry Butter Hand Mask, okay, and I'm just going to apply a little bit on each hand, okay, and quite liberally, Idea, which might seem a little bit odd, as using with using cling film. I just I don't know my personal preference. I suppose I feel like it keeps the product nice and tight to the skin. Okay, and, on and then to really keep that heat in, I'm just going to cover Lola's hands. to give it that little bit of extra warmth and this time we're going to leave it for another 10 minutes to really for the skin to really soak and absorb all that moisture that the mask is going to give okay so now that that has taken and we are finished with the mask okay we're going to very carefully so we've got some fresh water be able to remove the mask from the client's hands. So I'm going to very carefully, okay, can I have your right hand again? Okay, lovely, lovely. So we'll move one bowl out of the way. And again, just really nice and gently drying the client's hands. advantage and a good and um, good application we're just going to want to make sure that there's no unnecessary amount of moisture in the nails. I'm going to prep and wipe just very carefully and go over those nails. Done that I'm going to gently buffer the tops of Lola's nails so that is then ready 
the application of our gel color. And it really helps the cut to by buffing the petals. Sorry. It really helps just for the color to grab and to have a really nice lengthy stay on the nail. Now that we've gently buffered those now again using that just going in one direction for each nail I'm going to use the Gelux Fast Bond okay so this is what helps um, the base coat and all the other subsequent gel polish that I apply to really grab onto the nail okay Okay, so next, now that I've applied um, the bonding, I'm now going to apply a base coat, and again, I'm using Manifold Company products for this. And this is something that does need curing under the UV Okay, so now that we've applied the base coat, Lola did originally want, let's have a look, it's on this one actually, this pink one, which I think is really beautiful and is called Goddess. And then she decided actually she was going to go a bit wild, even though it's still a lovely colour, she decided to go for this green one, which I need to remind myself what it's called. It's called Idol. Okay, so very much like Lola herself and her character. So that's the next colour that we are going to apply. Again, it's exactly the same process. And what I like to tend to do with glitter varnishes is always do at least two coats. Sometimes I think with the glitter varnishes, they can come out quite sparse uh, and therefore not give a full coverage over the nail. Um, again, using the Manicure Company um, gel polish, I'm going to start to apply that now. Okay, so as I said before, when I first started doing it, I said I, I like to work my way out to it. Now that's my left hand. What I forgot to say was on the right hand of the client, I like to work my way in, out. That's purely because by doing that, I don't run the risk of touching any wet varnish on any previous snake. Whereas working from the little finger in, I run the risk of laying a hand or a finger on the wet polish, okay? Just 
this really just keeps the cuticle nice and soft. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, would you like some hand cream going? Just to finish it all off. So, Kate Family Manicure Cranberry Sensation Hand Cream. Would you like to rub that in for me, sweetheart? Or would you like me to do it? You want to do it. Okay, and that is it. If you'd like to follow me and like it and share, that would be great because any support for local businesses is always, always welcome. Couldn't stress it enough, especially during these really, really tough times. It's a real, I'm not the only one, um, but if any support is lovely. Thank you very much.